electroculture, what it is and how it works. Electroculture is an over 100 year old proven process that uses antennas and devices to redirect the free electromagnetic energy of the earth and sun to enhance plant growth and much much more. This is a diagram from an over 100 year old patent showing one of the first successful electroculture antennas. And to further illustrate that electroculture is not new, nor is it a pseudoscience, here's a 1926 United States Department of Agriculture document showing successful electroculture practices in use worldwide since 1851. Electroculture can be practiced indoors or outside with spectacular results. Just look at some of what you can expect from technology that is literally hundreds of years old. Now understand, not every plant will be huge like this, but all of them will be improved in flavor and nutrient. How's that for a bunch of grapes? Some flowers so tall you need a ladder to reach them. Here's a different type of electroculture antenna made in modern day times. And here's some more results of lovely plants. Here's another type of electroculture antenna. Now that's what I call a water pump. And here is yet another style of electroculture antenna in use today. The corn in the background in this photograph has to be over 15 feet tall. And here's another style of modern electroculture antenna that is actually for sale. I will show you where to buy it or how to build your own. Metal plates buried in the ground can also direct the energy into the plants. And here's a diagram illustrating that. These metal plates are made out of zinc and iron, thereby setting up a natural ground-based battery that powers the electroculture technique. And here's an onion so large it could bring tears to a whole herd of elephant's eyes. In this photograph we have a cylindrical shaped magnet. There is a hole in the center. Through the hole is passed a wire and the wire can either be buried in the ground or laid on top of the ground. And here we see the results. Charging the water with energy that is used to water the plants can also cause the electroculture effect to take place. And that method is how this particular zucchini and others like it will grow. And here we have a squash big enough to squish the average man. The electroculture process also improves the soil and makes the plants more resistant to insect pests and plant diseases. The electroculture process produces soil that is fertile, rich, and teeming with biodiversity, thus enabling the soil to grow plants like these. In fact, electroculture makes organic growing the least expensive way to grow food of any kind. Now, each and every one of us has the ability to get back to the future when it comes to our food and caring for the soil that produces it. Electroculture. Taste the difference.